pictures of puppies just now. On my last video, I talked about Gemma's puppies, and I actually did say in that video that we had three litters, which was correct. But for two days, we actually had four litters, and then Gemma's puppies went home. So we now are back down to three litters, and I'm going to do a video on each of the litter and let you guys see them. There are some unique things with each litter and fun things to talk about in each litter. So I hope you guys will tune in with us. And uh, this is the first of the three litters that we have just now. So this litter has something really cool that I want to share with you guys. And it's actually this coloring of these puppies. Now we have four of them in this litter that have this coloring on their back. So with English Springer Spaniels, you can get black and you can get liver, but you can also get a red tone with them which is often known as a red sable or there's a black tip sable and I think that there are many different names that people call them. So if you guys know a lot about the red sables, tell us about them because we're, we're new to reds and red sables when it comes to English and Spaniels. So Pippa, when she was about 12 weeks old, I noticed her liver began to go a lot more red. Now it wasn't enough to call her a red or a red sable. She's definitely a liver. She's got a really dark liver color of that brown to her. But in certain lights, you would see this kind of ready tone shine through her liver. I always wondered if that red sable was in her genetics and in that bloodline. So when she started having puppies, we put her with Remington and with both of them being liver themselves, the entire litter was liver. And the one puppy out of her entire litter at three weeks, that's when I noticed for the first time that it was changing color. Now I had noticed previous to that, but I think that was mainly because I didn't know to look for it. So at three weeks, I noticed the color was changing and as it progressed, it became a lot more vibrant of a red. And then it kind of had like a little bit of a, a darker brown around the eyes. In certain lights, there would be a little bit darker in there too. So we knew that we had this red showing up in letters. Pippa was paired with the Angus previously and they had an entire litter of black and because we do tend to get a lot of black from Angus sire puppies, we figured, oh, well this litter is going to be all black too. And lo and behold, we actually got four of them that went sable. Now they, because they have a black base coat, their noses are black and it's a lot darker. So that's kind of what this coloring is right now. It's really different. It's, we've never really seen it. We've seen it in other, other puppies, but we've never seen it in our puppies. And so to see it in reality and watch it progress, I think is really, really cool. So that's what this is. It's just that you see the, the reds kind of coming through with the black. You can see that it's, it's different. It's certainly different from the black. There is the, the, the tones kind of all through the fur and different, different tones that are kind of going through there. There's kind of browns and there's even some white that kind of goes back through there too. And then even their little faces, they have a lot of dark around their ears and then it's just kind of striped around the eyes with the two colors. So we got four from this litter that are that red sable or black tip sable, I'm not really sure. There's, it seems like um, even other breeders that are experienced with sables call them different things. So. What I know is that that's a sable and it's got red, so we've just been calling them red sables. With this one, this one is a roan. So it's got the roan right through the paws too. Really unique color and really interesting to see. So we got two puppies that were roan. Ginny, come here, come here Ginny. So Ginny is a roan as well. So she's got that color and all through her. And then, also, and then two of them were not roan. So the first one that I showed you, and then this little girl. And this little girl is not Roan. So she's just got the white, and it's gonna stay white, and uh, that unique sable color. So the other, the other five puppies that we got, there were nine puppies in the litter. The other five puppies that we got were black. Um, I think all of them were blue Roan. So they've all got that Roan color right through. I didn't get any black and white, and I didn't get any tri-color. They're all just two color blue roans. So gorgeous as usual. We absolutely love the roan. And uh, yeah, these guys are such a bundle of fun now. Oh, you guys gotta be climbing up on me.
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Come here, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Over here. Bite in her leg. And she not like that. Yeah. She didn't like that. So three of these puppies are actually going to be shipped to BC. For those guys who don't know, we're in Ontario, Canada, and these guys are going to be going to British Columbia, Canada. Um, so they're just going to be across in the country, but it's uh, still a good flight for them. Usually the flights are pretty early and uh, we have to drive to the airport in the middle of the night, um, which is actually, we kind of make it fun. We always try to kind of just enjoy going in our little traditions that we do. Usually we go through Tim Hortons and we get some tea and coffee and <laughs> and yeah, we just kind of enjoy our little trip. And so we try to make the most of our, our trips to the airport when we have to go. Puppies usually do really well. I always make sure that I have a pee pad in there in case I have any accidents. Most of the time, I'm gonna cross my fingers because I might be speaking too soon, but most of the time they do really well and they don't have any accidents. They just sleep in their little bed and they have, um, sometimes you're allowed to put a toy in with them, other times you're not, it just depends on the airline at the time. The airline's guidelines, sometimes they let you put a toy in and sometimes they don't let you put a toy in. So I have their bed and I rub that down on their litter mates and on their mum and that kind of just has a scent on it for traveling and it keeps them calm. And two of them are going to be going together so we're still hoping that that's the case where they can go in the same crate together and uh, they'll be happy. So yeah, that's what's going on with this litter. And um, yeah, it's just, it's been a fun time with us right now. It's busy for the run up to Christmas. I'm starting to kind of get into that Christmas mode where I'm thinking of everything else that needs to be done as well as all the everyday stuff that we have going on with puppies and dogs. Um, can sometimes get a little overwhelming, but it's exciting all at the same time. And, uh, <laughs> guys, it's exciting all at the same time. We love this time of year and um, you know, I'm just happy that we can provide puppies for families and um, be part of that. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these puppies. I actually have the two more litters. I'm going to be re recording actually just now. I'm going to try and get the recording done so that we have these videos to upload and let you guys see the next two litters that we have. So there's two more coming. Stay tuned with us and we'll see you in the next one.